Leading industry executives, legal counsel, and high-ranking government officials with Latin American interests gathered in New York at the St. Regis Hotel on March 31 and April 1 for the inaugural Hogan Lovell's Latin America Summit. These thought leaders joined Hogan Lovell's lawyers in the exploration of current trends in the region, including economic growth, global investment, and both foreign and domestic business expansion. The day and a half program kicked off with an onstage conversation between Andres Glusky, Director, President, and Chief Executive Officer of the AAS Corporation, and the Honorable Norm Coleman, former U.S. Senator and Hogan Lovells of Council. We chose to host this new uh, global summit in 2014 because, as many of you who work with us uh, actually know, we recognize the growing opportunities, you know, and the challenges that come from doing business in Latin America. Well, you know, we've gathered this evening to uh, be able to talk about major trends and developments in the region and to share the lessons that I think we've all uh, learned from uh, doing business in Latin America. It's interesting how sometimes business has to, has to lead. If you look at where our country's been uh, and our relationship with, with our neighbors, not, not, not our backyard, but our neighbors, uh, you know, for a while, our focus is in the Middle East. You know, and for, and in the Middle East, we do an Asian pivot. And yet, if you look at the, the, the opportunity that exists between Canada, Mexico, Central America, Latin America, the United States, it's really overwhelming. It's pretty enormous. In Latin America, it's actually one of the greenest electric sectors in the world. And in fact, sometimes it's too green if you include the hydros. The dynamics of the Latin American market are going to be for continued growth, it is a good market to be in, but you've got to choose your markets. Uh, so the markets are growing at different rates, um, and they have, uh, say, different openness to foreign investment. I think this is uh, our, uh, a particularly auspicious time for us to be having our first Latin American summit because so much is going on in the region. Um, I suppose that's always been true. In, in some respects, but never before have you seen the, the sort of confluence of, of economic opportunity and development uh, put on, laid on top of a lot of uh, ongoing instability and challenges. We've seen crises in, in so many countries around the world, and actually, you know, when you manage your way through the crisis, that will pay off big time once these countries rebound. The second day included a keynote lunch address by Ambassador Arturo Saracon, Chairman, Global Solutions, a Podesta company, and former Mexican Ambassador to the United States. Additionally, the audience heard a variety of global perspectives during the four topical panels throughout the day. Attractions and potential pitfalls for international players looking to participate in Latin America, expanding infrastructure, Latin America's mechanism for internal integration and foreign growth, multinationals and their cross-border influence on Latin American economic growth, the reshaping of the oil and gas industry in Latin America. Already, uh, you know, interest from uh, international investors uh, for the energy reform uh, and uh, a lot of international investors setting up shop in Mexico that, you know, who didn't necessarily uh, have offices there just to make sure they're on the ground uh, and sort of, uh, you know, canvassing, looking for, for opportunities. It isn't as much on the radar screen right now, but I think in five years you will, you will notice uh, indigenous matters becoming a, a much larger issue in Mexico. Uh, people are, I think the government's becoming aware to some of what they've committed to in both the Constitution and in international treaties. So that's going to be a, a major factor. Three different areas where, you know, the growth is going to be focused on. Uh, first of all, in production. Uh, both conventional and unconventional in the near future. Uh, secondly, in terms of uh, transportation, the midstream uh, capabilities that we've got. Latin America is among the most challenging regions to do business, yet a vast number of global corporations have been undeterred. Many have profited from the region's enormous market potential, while Latin America's position in the global economy continues to rise. As part of the Hogan Lovell's Global Client Forum, the Latin America Summit created a platform for these major players to connect with their influential peers and discuss the important political developments and regulatory reform that will continue to shape the region's future.